Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I did something that I was not expecting to be as fun as it was, and that is I joined a pistol-only server. I initially jumped into this because I just wanted to unlock all of the pistols, and I don't know why DICE has done this, but if you try to unlock the pistols normally, just like going into a match and every once in a while whipping out your pistol to, to finish someone off, it's gonna take you an eternity. Like, you need, I think it's like 500... And 70 around 570 if you don't use any boost or you don't go on the XP weekend uh, Kills with any pistol to unlock the final one. It's like 57,000 points total and that is an insane amount of points And so if you try to do it normally going into a server and, or just trying to go against people that use assault rifles You're gonna have a bad time and so I jumped into the server not really expecting much but after playing a couple of rounds, I was having an absolute blast. I was using my trusty MP443. A lot of you guys know that this was one of my favorite weapons back in Battlefield 3. And I was just dominating people. I don't know if I was just lucky at the moment. I don't know if people just aren't accustomed to using pistols. But I was just going on some inc incredible kill streaks where I was killing like three to four people with one, one magazine. And I struggled doing that with the normal assault rifles that have 30 rounds and doing that with only 18 rounds in a magazine, you feel like a badass, and it really just is awesome. Uh, one thing I, I kind of forgot about is that DICE has actually flushed out the customization options for these pistols. There's now different laser sights, you can use just different optics, different barrel attachments, and while I would say that a lot of it doesn't really enhance the weapons all that much, I actually tried out the heavy barrel and I didn't really like it, but using something like the muzzle brake or the compensator uh, was, was kind of a nice touch. It doesn't dramatically change the way that the weapons perform, but it was clear that when I slapped on the the mini red dot sight, my accuracy improved like tenfold. I was able to track my targets a lot more, and it was just kind of a, a nice little touch. Uh, I do have one recommendation though, is that if you do want to use these red dot sights, I highly recommend using uh, the mini. I don't know about you guys, but the other two just don't work out for me. I feel like it obscures too much of your vision. And while one bad aspect of the mini is that the top section of it does kind of obscure a little bit more of your view than I would have kind of liked, uh, just the fact that it, it's very clear and as long as you kind of keep the enemy in your crosshairs, it's very easy to track. So if you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. Uh, but other than that, I just kind of wanted to make this quick little video. I am, I'm currently sick. If you can't tell from my voice, I have not been able to sleep for like the past two days. It's been awful. It sucks. Uh, but it is Thanksgiving in the United States. So I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to uh, stuff myself full of turkey and all that other delicious food. So if you are also from the United States, I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving with your family. And then for everyone else. I just hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, but yeah, guys, until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.